I had found a niche. I had worked at many companies. I had solved big problems for big companies where they had massive horizontals and cell systems and, and scrap parts. And I'd come in to solve problems and make programs for the right people to gain a respect in the industry. And then I'd ran and actually built shops, right? And you guys have probably heard me before where I've talked about times where I thought that I was being like screwed over by somebody because I had built and helped build a business and then left with nothing, you know, and, and, and basically everything just fell apart. Later on when I owned my own machine shop, I understand that that was exactly what I had to go through because, you know, I knew how to run machines, but I didn't understand how to run electrical. I didn't understand how to put up air. I didn't understand the specs and how everything had to be put together. Right. I didn't understand how to, you know, I needed to take my customer service to a top level. I had to take my quality to a top level. I had to really learn about the trade and, and basically be well-rounded, right? Programming isn't good enough when you're actually going to start a company. Okay. So I went from shop to shop and basically picked a little bit up, picked a little bit up, picked a little bit up. And finally, I went out on my own, went on a journey, put a couch in my shop, brought a TV, and I literally worked for 24 hours a day. My wife would come in, watch videos, bring the kids, and I would just set up my machines, double vices, parts all across. I would fill up the envelope and basically go to have a long run time the parts might only take in two or three minutes, but because I ran so many of them, I could actually run them for like an hour and walk away. So I could run four machines by myself, right? And I was working with a guy, Jeff Weaver, who like, you know, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him because he was a machinist that actually, you know, got involved with me. And he's my only guy that actually invested in my company. And today he's in Texas, retired with a brand new house and, and a great life. And, and he is uh, one of the dear people in this world that I actually love and look up to. But together, we basically built this shop, right? We put the long hours in. You know, I, I, I would sleep for an hour. I'd get up, change parts out, sleep for an hour. I wasn't like, oh my Lord, like I'm, I'm, I'm working 20 hours a day. I was like, yes. I'm working 20 hours a day. We're murdering it. Like we're just making it happen, you know? And every time somebody would come into the shop, I basically would, would show them the setups and I'd have such pride and such passion. And I'd be like, everybody's running at this and we're running at 800 inches a minute. We're doing this, we're doing this. When everybody's still over here, we're up here. So I was creating a niche by saying that, you know, this is 12, 13 years ago. So I, I was running the machines at peak and therefore I was showing my customers that I could solve their problems by giving them a part at a lower price, right? Coming into uh, my first month, I think my first month in business, I did like $33,000. Crazy. And that's more money I'd ever even thought I could make. And then literally every month it went from 33 to like 44 to like 50 something to 60 something to seven. And I remember like getting my first check my first check and like, you know, I had to go, I ran out of money. I had to go to my customer and say, Hey, I'll give you a 5% discount. If you'll actually pay me early, I'm starting my company, boom, boom, boom. And they actually pay me early. I remember getting my first check and being like, this is from a company that I built. I put it all on the line and boom, right? We started like hiring people and stuff. And I remember like all of a sudden, I had my first month, I think it was my 10th month in business, I did $100,000. A hundred, like a hundred thousand dollars, you know? And I just remember like just being in awe and it even inspired me more, you know? And, and, it, just, and it just continued up all the way up to a million dollars in a month, you know what I mean? And, and then the drop and then everything, you guys know the story, right? But it has been the most amazing journey since then, we have, we have made TV shows. We've done the Academy. We've gone in and built a school in San Quentin Prison. My shop is running right now. We're running production work, making it happen, five axis. Literally, my guys are right over there. You know, and um, I have an amazing team. 